because our Discord is hosting a game jam right now, links down below, I decided to make a video giving some general advice on game jams based on the little bit of experience that I have. But before we get into the video, my name is Helper Wesley, I've made these games, and I make weekly devlogs. Let's talk about game jams. So to begin with, what is a game jam? A game jam is a video game making competition, usually with a time limit, a theme, and some rules that make it a lot more stressful than it would be otherwise. Typically they're just friendly competitions, very rarely will there be a prize attached to them. And there are literally dozens of these things going on every day at all times. So if that sounded interesting to you, go ahead and join one, or ours if it's still happening. Let's quickly go over what makes game jams interesting. To begin with the timed aspect of it. Game jams can be for an hour, two hours, or two weeks, or two months, or years. The time restriction is generally the biggest factor for how big or small the game you make is. The next deciding factor for what kind of game you're going to make is the theme. Typically each jam will have its own theme and it will be released at the start date of the jam. So that way no one's able to start making their game before the jam starts. Because you don't know what kind of game you're going to need to make based on the theme. Themes can be instructions, literally telling you to make a platformer or make this kind of game or make that kind of game. Or they can be abstract things like life and death, color, the wind, literally anything. Generally that will be decided by the host. And once the theme is announced, everybody gets to work coming up with ideas. And going back to time again, if you have, say, nine days to make a game, you can spend maybe half a day or two or three hours coming up with an idea. If you have one day or 48 hours, you really don't have that much time. You need to hit the ground running. The next thing to take into consideration when coming up with an idea is the scoring. Typically game jams will have multiple categories that your game is being scored in. Some pretty common ones are music and art and how fun the game is and things like that. And this is where reading the rules comes in handy. Some jams will allow you to use pre-made assets, some will ask you to make all your own, and by assets I mean art and music. So it's very important to read the rules and scoring system for your jam specifically, because like I said they're all going to be a little different. Now here comes the advice. In the jam I took part in, the Vim Jam, our scoring was broken into five different categories. And it's imperative to focus on every single one of these. You can't leave one out because that will drastically hurt your score. So for example, music and sound. Games that had a good core game going, but didn't include sound, really paid for it in the scoring system. There are a ton of great easy options to get sound for your game. I personally use SFXR, which is a free program that you can just download and it's very simple to use. Or you can use freesound.org or just Google free sound effects for my video game, if that sort of thing is allowed with your jam. But it's imperative that these things are filled out, like when you jump, there should be a sound. When you click on something, there should be a sound. Whenever you do anything in your game, there should be some sort of sound associated with it so the player knows that that thing has happened. Neglecting to put all of those in is going to hurt your score. Next was art. Now I'm not an artist. If you have seen any of my videos, you know that I'm not an artist. <laughs> but the most important thing with a jam, if you're making the art yourself, is to keep it simple. You can create an entire game with just blocks, and no one's going to care as long as the game is good. But it's important to have a unified theme in your game. So if you're going for a blocky aesthetic, then create a blocky world. As long as everything looks like it belongs in the world that you've created, you should be fine. Pre-made art packs are really good for this. So again, if your jam allows you to do that, and you are not a confident artist, then maybe go down that route. Because when we play video games, the first thing that we experience with the game is the visuals. Typically we won't be moving right away, but we will immediately see things on screen and hear sounds when we click on the start button, for example. All of these little things need to come together to make a full experience. Once you've acknowledged the length of time you have, the theme, the rules you have to abide by, and the scoring system, then you can start brainstorming your game. The first thing I'm going to say about that is to remember that your game should be anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes long. 
a really good five minute experience is going to get a much better score than a half an hour experience that was just kind of okay. And before you say that, well, you could just do both well. No, no, you have limited time. Go for the five to 15 minute game and polish that up to a mirror shine. Firstly, for your own sanity. Secondly, because the people judging your game are gonna to want to be able to play more than one game. So if your game drags on, they're going to start to resent your game because it's slowing them down. The next thing is how to get a unique idea. And I think the best way to do that is to first write down the first idea that comes in your head, put that to the side, keep it, don't lose it, and then try to come up with something else. Your first idea is probably pretty generic. Your second one will be better. But you kept your first one because if you can't come up with a second one, your first one's still there, so you're not sitting around for a day, two days, losing time that you could be working on your game. As for the game itself, that's entirely up to your own discretion. But I will advise two things. Your tutorial should not be front-loaded. So if the player has a big wall of text they need to read before they can play your game, that's no good. It should be blended into your game, if you know what I'm trying to say. So if you have a level-based game, maybe introduce a couple of mechanics the first level, a couple more the next level, and then so on and so on. If you front load your players with a wall of text, again, they're going to have a bad experience from the get-go and you're going to get a worse score. And talking about the get-go, if that's how that expression works, you want to make sure that the first minute or two of the player's time has a moment that makes them go, oh, I should be paying attention. So for example, in my game, which is by no means perfect, the scores reflect that. Um, <laughs> in my game, in and out Night Burglar, the one I made for the Vim Jam, the very first level has a moment where there's a vent you can hide in, and the guard comes right up to the vent and stops and then looks around for you and then walks away. That moment clearly shows the player what sort of game they're in for. And that's what you need to try to achieve yourself in the first couple minutes of your own game. You should be thinking of a point where the player is going to know exactly what they're in for. And beyond that, just have fun. Honestly. Game jams are technically competitions, but game devs are some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. Nobody is going to rub their score in your face and point out that you did better or worse than they did. It is technically a competition, but you need to look at it more as a learning experience for you. The game jam is about creating games that other people can play and competing, but at the end of it, regardless of what your score is, you're going to come out of a game jam much better than when you went in, because you don't really get a chance to experience your best until you are put into a crunch. So yeah, good luck with your game jams, I hope you have fun with them, and that you create some cool games.